So what's a hose head? Hose head is a universal electric brewery controller for home brewing that can be controlled from any computer, tablet, or smartphone over your home network. It is ideal for any 5 to 20 gallon electric herms, rims, or e-brew in the bag setup. It features an internal Raspberry Pi computer, built-in network connectivity, USB connectivity, a one-wire temperature sensor interface, two relay control power outlets for running pumps, a 120 volt power inlet that powers the pumps, its internal 12 volt power supply, its internal 5 volt power supply, and the Raspberry Pi computer. It also powers the cooling fans and all the internal relays. It features a power switch with a built-in 10 amp circuit breaker and can be run over Wi-Fi with an optional low-cost adapter. On the side, there is an HDMI port for output to a TV or monitor. The backside of Hosehead features three Nutric power card connectors. These are turn lock quick release connectors. Slide it in, give it a turn, snaps in place. I have an input and two outputs. Right now my input is configured for 240 volts. So this is going to my clothes dryer outlet that's plugged into the wall. And then I have my output, which is going to my boil kettle. And my other one is going to my hot liquor tank. Also features a keen safety switch. This safety switch activates an internal coil relay, which enables or disables all the power going through these connectors. Without this key safety switch on, no power can flow from this through the solid state relays into these coils. If I turn this key on, it also activates the two cooling fans on the top of the unit. This is an extruded aluminum case. It acts as a heat sink for the two solid state relays that are mounted to the bottom of the unit. I turn the key on, see my fans come on, keeps my case nice and cool, gives it a nice cross flow of air, keeps the unit nice and cool when you're brewing. This does not need to be on unless you are brewing beer. Here's what the interface to hose head looks like. And you can see I have the hot liquor tank, the boil kettle, and the mash tun. I also have two on and off switches so I can control my chugger pumps. And it shows me the temperature of all my kettles. Right now, my hot liquor tank is at 68 degrees. I just put some cold water in there and we're going to do a little demonstration on how this controls the temperature. But first, how you can access hose head. Hose head is controlled over the home network by basically typing in the address of your Raspberry Pi computer. When I plugged in my Raspberry Pi, it gave me the address of 192.168.0.151. So I type in that address, 8080 slash controller. And I can do that from any computer, tablet, or smartphone that's hooked to my home network. Right now I'm running Mozilla Firefox, but it seems to work with pretty much everything. So, I want to take the hot water, or hot liquor tank, and I want to turn it to 155 degrees. So how am I going to do that? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit auto, and it's going to let me create a set point. And my set point is already at 155 degrees. I'm going to leave my duty cycle at 60 seconds. And right now all I have programmed in is the P. The P is how many seconds it takes to go up one degree Fahrenheit, the way I have it configured. So right now it takes 20 seconds to go approximately one degree Fahrenheit. So I'm going to hit send command. And my duty cycle is going to go up to 100%. It's currently not going to do anything right now until I go over and turn the, the keyed safety switch on. This is a safety feature allows you to keep you from burning up your uh, heating elements in case there's nothing in the tank. It uh, is going to let me do that. So I'm going to turn on my trigger 2 pump. And you can see that my pump kicks on. And my hot liquor tank is starting to recycle the water. This hot liquor tank has a 50 foot coil in it. 
of a half inch copper tubing and that's going to circulate the water from the bottom through the top and you can circulate your wort through the coil and allow you to keep a consistent temperature in your mash. So I'm going to go back over and I'm going to turn the key on. It's going to activate my high voltage circuitry, activate my cooling fans. And I can see my temperature here and to climb. All right, so another feature of Hose Head is if you double click on these, going to give me a graph of the live data versus time and show me a temperature climb. So when I started it was at 62 degrees and we can slowly see that it's starting to climb. This can be done with any of the uh, temperature sensors that are hooked to hose head. This automatically saves that data to a file on the Raspberry Pi, so you can go in and uh, reference it when you're done if you'd like. So go back over to our hot liquor tank and you can see the temperature is now at 72 degrees. And we will take a little break and come back when it hits closer to the temperature. And I'll show you what it does from there. All right, it's a few minutes later, and you can see that our temperature is almost to 155 degrees, which is our set point. Our duty cycle has dropped to 26%, and it's going to continue to heat that heating element at a slightly lower place until it hits our 155 degree mark, so it doesn't overshoot. And in a couple of minutes, that will be at 155 degrees. So it fully automates the temperature control for that tank. Okay, now I'm going to show you how the heating elements are mounted into my kettles, boil kettle and hot liquor tank. Basically this is a Camco 5500 watt heating element, ultra, lot, ultra low watt density and it is mounted through a inch and a quarter hole in the side of the tank. These are a wellless design and they're just locked in place with this nut and there's a silicone o-ring behind that nut that seals it nice and tight. On the back side we have some powdered sugar shakers from a kitchen store at the mall. Basically I drew that, drilled that same inch and a quarter hole in the back side of this, mounted my element through there and this is a cap. There's normally a screen on here. So I pop the screens out and I CNC machine some end plates here and put those in and then sealed it all nice and tight with some silicone. These are Hubble cord grips, watertight cord grips for the, the, uh, the electricity cords to go through and they basically screw on and they're nice and watertight. It keeps the uh, water from getting in your element. This is how I have my temperature sensor probes installed on my kettles. What this is, is just a T from brewhardware.com and this is a half inch NPTT and this is a half inch NPT by a quarter inch compression fitting and if I pull this little probe out that is my temperature sensor. So what I did to make these work is I went down to the hardware store and got me some lead free fittings and I took a drill bit and I drilled out the center of it because normally these have a little catch point. 
So I drilled that out so the probe would slide in nice and easy. And then I took the compression fitting out and just put in a little o-ring. So when I screw that on there, I can slide in my probe. Tighten it up about finger tight. It's about all it really needs. And my probe is installed.